When is the best time for a person to daven regarding a crisis? The Gemara Masechet Sanhedrin Daf Mem Dalad Mudbet says, before the crisis ever transpires, a person should always make sure to daven in advance of a crisis. If not for the tfila, says the Gemara, of Avraham Avinu at the time when he first came to Eretz Kenan, for an event that was going to transpire in the vicinity where he davened first, Bain Beit El Ai, for his progeny, many generations hence, in the time of Yeshua Binun, God forbid there would have been a total annihilation. But thanks to his tfila, the tragedy was mitigated, and 36 Chayalim died in the war of Yeshua against the Ai, in the initial attack. Uh, but it wasn't more. This is a very strange idea. We don't know what crises are coming. So what does it mean that we're going to look ahead in the future? If you're Avram Avinu, you have a premonition, you have Nevoah, Ruach HaKodesh. But for the rest of us, what are we meant to do? The Arve Nachal says that this is also a concept on display in Parshat Va'era. Hashem says to Moshe Rabbeinu, V'gam ani shamati at nakat b'nei Yisrael asher mitzrayim ma'avidim otam va'ezkor et briti. And I also hear the moans of the Jewish people, the Bnei Israel, that the Egyptians are causing them to have many burdens. They're oppressing them. And yet I recall, and I recall my covenant. The Arve Nachal says that here was a subtle critique of the Jewish people and an acknowledgement by a Kaddish Baruch Hu that over the time period of the Shibud, of the subjugation, that they were under the thumb, the bondage of the Egyptians, their spiritual skills had atrophied. And Hashem says to Moshe, I know that they're davening now only because it hurts. And the idea that tefillah, prayer, is so much more than just responding to a moment of crisis, that it's about cultivating relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, that had gone by the wayside of all the pressures and the stresses of what it meant to be enslaved in the pits of Egypt. And so here, Hashem says to Moshe Rabbeinu, you know what else I hear in the tefillah of the Jewish people whose motivation right now, I'll answer it anyway, I will remember my covenant. But you know what I hear also in their cry? I also hear that they acknowledge Asher Mitzrayim Ma'avidim Otam, that the Egyptians are causing them not just to work, but are causing them to serve me. And that somehow the idea of tefillah as a form of avodah, Torah, tfila, Torah, avodah, gemilut chasadim, we have from the Mishnah of Shimon HaTzadik, it's the same idea here. I also hear, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that the cries of the Jewish people are intermingled with a sense almost of shame, that now that it hurts, now they're coming forward. Would that they had davened in advance and kept up a dialogue and a relationship with me, says Hashem. That would have been much better. And I hear a little bit of the busha, the humiliation of what it means to come only when you're in a foxhole, as opposed to having an ongoing relationship with Hashem. And uh, may we be those Jews who take our sidur in hand and think a little bit about that aspect in our parsha of our parsha when we daven, a relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu should not just be characterized of response to crisis, but about a burning desire to want to have an ongoing relationship with the Kaddish Baruch Hu at all times in our lives.